Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a room tour. I love watching these videos on YouTube so I thought I'd film my own. I started designing and kind of buying bits for my room and redecorating kind of last summer after I finished my exams. So yeah, it's nearly been a year but I'm still really happy with how the room turned out and I just thought I'd show you guys like where I got my furnishings from. Um, where I got inspiration from, like the colour scheme I've got going on, the different textures and stuff like that. But just one tip before we get started, we're all at home a lot more now. So if you are redecorating your room, I'm thinking of redecorating, I think a really good tip is to make a mood board. I did one and you can do them on Pinterest, you can make boards. Pinterest is a great app. Um, if you want to take inspiration from all different people. Last year I didn't really know about Pinterest so I did mine on Word and I just got images from Google uh, and things like that but it was great just to kind of visualise all the colours I wanted together, all the textures, Google different places that sold the furniture I wanted. It was just really helpful to kind of see my ideas come together without actually implementing them yet just so that I could tweak certain parts and make it exactly how I wanted. Okay so let me take you around my room. Because my room's in the loft I thought I'd start outside these are just the stairs leading up to my room as you can see they need a repaint we're in the middle of redecorating our house at the moment this is just the staircase leading up to my room and then here is the door and the bit of landing so as you come in my bed is the first thing you see it does take up quite a lot of my room we'll start with the bed as it's the first thing we can see and um, let me just stand you up okay so this is my bed you have probably seen it quite a lot of times in instagram pictures in these videos i got it from a place called gables beds i'll leave their instagram down below it might be hard for people who don't live in essex but if you live in essex it's great because it'll be local to you but they basically do bespoke beds and furniture which is why i got this so it did take a little while to come i think it was like one one month, a month maybe, two months. I think it was more like a month, six weeks. Um, but it was so worth it. I love it so much. It's literally everything I wanted. I love the kind of like quilted pattern in the headboard. And then at the bottom of my bed, I've got a scroll. So this bed's actually a king size one. Um, because they're bespoke, they're made to order. So I chose this teal color and I can't remember what the material's called it's something velvet i'm sure it's something velvet brushed velvet is it i'm not sure but it's kind of like faux suede feeling that's the story of my bed also to do with my bed is this duvet cover this one is from the range i really love this one it's just like um simple and white but it has some texture it has kind of these little um oh my god i'm so bad at describing things it just looks kind of quilted um, so that's from the range and if you're looking for duvet covers the range do some really good ones at reasonable prices you've probably seen the other color one I have it's kind of like a duck egg blue one and that's kind of similar texture that one's from next um, and I think that was a bit more pricey than this one but yeah they're the kind of two I like to alternate between I like to keep the colors quite simple um, and coordinating. Yeah, I'll insert a picture of the duck egg blue one if you haven't seen it here. Okay, moving along from the bed to the left, I have my mirror and it's just my window. Also, if you're wondering, sorry, this bit isn't finished up here, but my blinds kind of match the colour of the bed and I got my blinds from Wilkinson's. So I'll start with the mirror. The mirror was from the range. I got quite a lot of furniture from the range and I love it so much it's like the perfect size I wanted one of these massive square ones I'm not sure if the range are delivering um, to people's homes as I know they're probably not open at the moment fake plant is from Ikea and the potter is from home sense it's just this like gold color I think it's really pretty and it goes with some other gold furniture I've got in my room so yeah the plants from Ikea and the pot is from home sense and this like faux sheepskin rug is from B&M I think, if not it's from the range but I know a lot of places do these types of rugs, you can get them in Ikea and B&M the range, 
I think this one is actually like a rectangle shape, but I just kind of folded it to make it that shape to go under the mirror. Along from my mirror to the left by the radiator, I have this ottoman. This is a really weird angle. Um, but yeah, this ottoman is from the same place I got my bed from and it matches my bed, which I love. It's the same teal colour, the same material um, and the kind of quilted buttons. The inside I just have like things I want to store um, and keep away that don't look too pretty on display. So yeah, that's the ottoman and then these flowers I've got for completing my last A-level exam for my family. They're so beautiful. They're like them, them roses that last. I can't remember how long they last, but they're kind of preserved. Um, I think, I guess they're from the little flower shop, but again, I didn't buy them. And then I just keep some books on it as well because I don't have anywhere to put them at the moment. <laughs> okay, moving along from the ottoman to the left again, I have my dressing table. And this was actually my nan's dressing table. So I'm not entirely sure where she got it. I'm sure you'd be able to find a kind of similar one in vintage shops or if you looked on eBay or Gumtree or something like that. I think it's so beautiful. I love how kind of vintage and delicate it looks. If you want me to do like a whole dressing table tour, I can do that as well. The only thing I kind of like modified about this is the stool. The stool was kind of a bit worse for wear. So me and my mum just refurbished it and put a new cover on it. Ignore all the ugly plugs and cables down there. But um, I got this crate, I think from Amazon or eBay, just to keep all of my eyeshadow palettes in when I was more into makeup. Um, and that was a really good storage idea. Moving along from the dressing table again, I have this little heart hanging on my door. Um, and I just thought it was really cute because it matched the colour of my bed and the ottoman. Um, and I think I got that from the range or Dunelm or something like that. I can't really remember. But I'm sure you can find little um, felt pieces like that in a lot of different places. On the other side of the door behind my bed, I have this set of chest of drawers. I got these from somewhere like Evo or Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree or something because I wanted a piece of furniture in this kind of like vintage style that matched my dressing table. And the gold colour matches the plant potter I've got near my mirror. Also the string on the felt heart and some other furniture which I will show you soon and in here I just keep like underwear and um, swimwear and summer bits pajamas and stuff like that also I just want to show you in this top drawer a really good storage idea are these little dividers I got mine from Ikea and they just help to kind of separate all your clothes in your drawers and keep it really organized so as you can see I've got like underwear here and socks um, but yeah, just a little tip if you want to keep your drawers looking organised and tidy. Ignore how messy this looks. I just chuck everything in here which I reach for like on a daily basis. But this little dish is actually super pretty. Um, it kind of, it's the same colour as like my bed. And then the outside of it is the gold. So I thought it went really well in my room. I can't remember where this frame is from. It might be somewhere like Boots or The Range, probably. Sorry, that was probably no help. Um, but again, the gold frame went really nice in my room. I don't know if this is really weird to show, but I kind of got creative with my bin. Um, as you can see, it's in this little corner next to my drawers. Um, and the colours go perfectly with my room, as you can see. It's the teal and the gold. And this is actually a plant pot, but I'm using it as a bin and I got this from HomeSense. HomeSense do such amazing little unique finds at usually really reasonable prices. So if you're redecorating your room, I definitely recommend checking in there. Moving along, I have this kind of long slim set of drawers and these are from the range. They fit perfectly along this smaller piece of wall I have here because I'm in the loft. And in there, I just kind of keep toiletries and perfumes um kind of techie bits and makeup bags and stuff like that and it keeps them organized perfectly i just put these cushions on top because they match the color of my room like the gold and the teal colors um and i got them from debenhams but they're by matthew williamson if it'll focus 
there we go yeah they're from matthew williamson they fit really nicely on top of there and i also put them on there to make these drawers into like a seating area although i have got like a sloped wall at the top here which is a bit annoying but for any like children or anything that came into my room they'll be able to sit on there and it just kind of utilizes that space more and then i had this little flower decoration this stand is actually two things in one i'm pretty sure i got these from home sense and the range these little stands um, and this marble base matches my bedside table which I'll show you in a minute. In between these two cushions it kind of just looked a bit empty so I used this to fill the space and this flower is from Dunelm I think but you can get them kind of flowers in Wilkinson's and places like that as well. But yeah it all just kind of tied the room together with the golds and the whites. Okay, moving into this corner on the right side of my bed, I have this gold lamp which is from Ikea. It's really good just for at night when I want lower lighting, when I'm watching something on my laptop or reading a book. Um, and I kind of loved how kind of antique this lamp looked. Ignore the messy plugs as well. And then moving along to this side, it's my bed again. I have my bedside table. It's just this geometric um, gold and marble one. That is from Home Sense, I believe. It just ties in with my room. As I showed you, the marble on the flower stand matches that, and then the golds all go together. Uh, I have this little trinket dish for some rings and bracelets. I'm not too sure where that's from, as I got it as a gift. But this little um, Polaroid photo stand is from Urban Outfitters. Also, just in case anyone's wondering about the flooring, it was from b and I think but you can get this kind of laminate um, in a lot of different carpet shops or flooring shops as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, seeing around my room. If you have any questions or want any links to the furniture, just leave a comment down below or message me on Instagram. Oh, and also I kept all the walls white. When I was younger, I used to love to experiment with colored walls and wallpaper and different textures. But over the years, I've learned that white is the safest colour for me. That it kind of just made the room a lot brighter. It looks a lot bigger with white and a lot cleaner as well. I think I showed you pretty much everything in my room. Again, if you want to see more of my dressing table and the storage and furnishings on my dressing table, just let me know and I can do that. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're all staying well and safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!